and Margaret in Windsor. And then I have to use this piggy and Dempsey. I'm here to Childers. I'm putting this up. It's 3.30 in the morning, and it's cold here in Roanoke now, or Salem. Um, I've been managing to hold out and live here uh, since July was a year ago, and it looks like that's coming to a close. I've, when I say I've managed, that's exactly what I've done. I've put up here since 2012 on Facebook and YouTube since, um, well, August the 3rd, I remember that, of uh, 2013 on YouTube about my kidnapping, who my father is, who my mother is, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, Madison, Wisconsin, married King Edward VIII. Uh, they were married. She was queen in 36, and uh, married in the Church of England. And then you come to find out that the Church of England's part of a plot to take him down with Winston Churchill, Eisenhower, Roosevelt, the, the Illuminati, the Kennedys, JFK later, helped him by kidnapping. He would fly in and actually um, go before Parliament, stay at the embassy and all this. <laughs> but I'm the actual queen and I'm over here and uh, therein is what I was going to say because I suppose no matter what I do, if they're killing you, they can go so far, and you, uh, you're you going to have to leave some way if I'm dragging my things down the side of the road, a suitcase. And I've done that before, believe me, in the cold, freezing, but at least then I wasn't almost 80 years old. And uh, I was kidnapped in 41. I was born in 39. And uh, Illuminati took my father down. He never married Wallace Simpson. I usually put up supportive photos and things. And uh, this today I, I realized that I can't take much more. I'm pretty sick. I had, um, uh, I've had vertigo because I react to fumes and whatever. I know I've lived my life. I'm allergic to chemical, chemicals and autoimmune disorder. And... Um, the way to get me to run me with using my illness, it's who I am. And uh, <laughs> the media doesn't touch it. They uh, can accuse the Saudi king and prince of murdering a journalist. When the journalists, the Illuminati, control your press here, they've always known about what happened to my dad, my mom. Uh, George O'Keefe's sister, the artist, uh, one of her paintings, except they tied her up to where, I, to where the O'Keefe's couldn't get anything of hers, uh, they tied her money up. Uh, she didn't sign any will. Uh, it was fake, but like everything else in this, it's been uh, all of it lied about. And, and Maybe you can tell how sick I am. I, I haven't felt good in a while because usually they run me from room to room with fumes and chemicals. They'll either come in and use some kind of cleaning agent that's so horrible or they use the air-conditioned heating unit uh, to pump out odors and uh, that are bad, toxic to me. And believe me, it, I don't... Uh, get sick that easily. I go anywhere else. I've ridden the buses, city buses, all of it going to stores and uh, about my business when I can walk and get there now. Um, and that doesn't bother me. It's They've sabotaged and used poison air to run me from place to place. I'm a joke. Um, I usually show Larry Flint uh, where he endorsed me in Hustler Magazine, April of uh, 84, kind of substantiate what I'm saying because that's, I ran a campaign. And um, I think that that was the reason the article was done because he was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Larry Flint was while I was doing a book on mind control and the Tesla files and uh, how you can program, they call him a Manchurian candidate, 
that shoots that are programmed to shoot and kill they don't know that they're programmed they're innocent just like the one they shot like the virginia tech next door and uh, then they can always turn around and call you crazy like james holmes of the grand theater in aurora colorado he wasn't he was programmed in those shootings, and there's synchronicity involved in it, just like over at the Virginia Tech here where the 33 died. The shooter was programmed to shoot and kill himself. Uh, if you have, like, the patterns to it, it's the synchronicity, it's gone so far anyway, the programming and mind control, that when they can bring certain names and certain times and people together in one spot to get shot, uh, and killed or bombed or whatever, well, then you know how far it's come. And I'm the one that's being run and hated for telling it. I didn't commit any of these crimes. They were committed against me and my children. I don't know where they are. The one thing I know, I went on Facebook and YouTube to give this as a diary of what's been happening to me and happened to me and who I am. And I know that my children would contact me uh, that was one of the reasons I put it up on Facebook and YouTube. They have a frame of reference where to find me. And uh, I I don't know where they are. Uh, right at the moment, I'm almost 80, and I'm going to use uh, Carl Barton. He's a uh, retired Virginia state trooper. This has been a few years ago and since they've closed the National Park Service up on the mountain where the star is um, overlooking Roanoke. They've closed it now, but I used to run up there when it would get so bad. Uh, most of these are on, motels are on. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I mean, you know, I have to keep quiet. I have to, I can't speak out. Somebody can come and handcuff me and uh, do what they, pretty much what they want to. Everybody has. And if running me and making me um, inhale fumes that are poison uh, deliberately to run me, and it ended up, the inflammation destroys my liver, my heart, my kidneys. Really having a bad time now with my kidneys. And even the medicine you give for inflammation uh, can tear your kidneys down. So, you know your immune system attacks itself. That's what triggers mine is toxic fumes. Normally I should have lived a, a normal life. This has been deliberate because of who I am. You don't hear me up there on uh, network television. They've tried to kill me uh, more than once. Uh, I've put all this up there. After I'd done the book, uh, they tried again in April Fool Day of 80, and I was in the political campaign later out at Flint, so I think that's part of the reason, well, he was shot by a program shooter, so I'll leave it at that. He says that in the endorsement, I knew who was responsible for his shooting in Lawrenceville, Georgia in 78. I lived in Marietta. So all this, it's been hell every day of my life, in my children's, uh, and I hope they're alive and well, and I get to see them again. But it's come time where I've managed to stay here that uh, Shaz and Patel own all of these. And I understand from YouTube that they own a lot of motels out and around. And I, I was sure they did also. Uh, my th understanding was that they were sent over here to help me. The Brits had sent them to help me. Well, I've been run from place to place and uh it's been hell, and what little money I finally started getting was paid on cabs or paying rent, or I finally got wise, don't pay a month, because they make you sign something, or they make me sign that uh, once I pay them, I can't get the money back. So now it's come to where I'm going back to the state trooper, and I didn't finish that part, Carl Barton. I was up at the um, National Park campground up next to the uh, star up on the mountain <laughs> overlooking Roanoke and I run up there to get away from uh, what's being done to me here they can get anybody to do it it doesn't matter wherever I've stayed they're waiting on me it makes me sound like uh, well you know uh, 
the truth, what they're doing to me. Nobody doubts it. You know, uh, I'm going to tell this first and then tell the last. And uh, I really need to see a doctor now because I'm having the kidney problems and I'm uh, hoping that, you know, I'm not... Uh, this is, well, let me get this first. The state trooper, I was up there that night some years ago. Him and his wife were hosts up there, and he's retired. And um, then uh, I hadn't been there long, and uh, I woke up, and they'd poured uh, kerosene all over my tent. I mean, I was in it when they did it. It was dark. I got out and sat up all night long at the table, picnic table. They brought me down to affordable corporate suites on Starkey Road. And uh, his wife told me, he said, uh, she said, uh, this is how we run you with chemicals. So you put enough, you get to the people that own it and uh, you get something on the codes or you get something on the kids or you get something on a code infraction or driving infraction or whatever, everybody's got something to hide. So they'll help the law enforcement against me or to hurt me. So anyway, i um, going to skip from there because it's, um, I mean, you know, I don't know. They gave me their address and mailing address and everything, the little stamps that you can put on letters. And uh, uh, so I, I guess they meant for me to use it to tell this what they said they said don't ever get to where you have to go into assisted living because then i can't run i can't move they pretty much do what they want to my all these years so you can imagine being there with everything taken away what they would do so i'm to the point where they've just about slaughtered me i can't um do much anymore i finally got somebody off of youtube uh, helped me get, sent me a packaging. I got a few clothes and uh, got some food. I, they have breakfast uh, here this morning. Uh, well, in the morning they have the artificial eggs, but they have protein. So they have a little bit of a breakfast, and it seems nice up there. So that's helped with not, you know, with getting breakfast and milk and uh, orange juice uh, for me. But it's just recent that I got something uh people will say, well, go to the churches. Like, why am I putting this up here? I've gone to the churches. They People are doing what they're told. They won't help me. Uh, in fact, they view me as they don't want to know any of this. They want to live as long as they can, and that's it, with their jobs. And so part of it's been threatening their jobs also. So it's strange what people will do when the law is not on my side, or I guess I'm still alive, but then I'm a hostage. That's exactly who I am. Um, anyway, they're telling about the uh, king of uh, Saudi Arabia and the prince supposed to have killed uh, the journalist at the Washington Post. My God, I've been in the Washington Post, and I've put what happened to me up there, and I had a letter from the FBI where I'd done the book and all that back then, what was happening to me, and this was early 1982. So uh, they're pretty much just the Illuminati press. Nobody will print it. Uh, maybe Hustler Magazine or somebody, the Brits would manage to do it, or wouldn't that be something that the truth were finally told? But where I'm sitting here now, I'm going to go put it ahead and put it up because they know what they're doing to me. And they must have got the word to get me out. I don't know if it was because I went on YouTube and posted my address and a few people sent me some, a few things um, or not. But they got the word to get me out. I mean, it hasn't been easy anyway. And then I stopped running from room to room because I couldn't, and I just one run from this room to another one, and the same thing would happen. I've put uh, where I've lived over the years, running back and forth from place to place and looking like a fool, everybody knowing what's going on, and losing rent and paying cabs and pulling um backpacks and uh, suitcases, the, trying to keep a few things together. And now I can't do that anymore. And so I finally got a few things here. 
a uh, few clothes that some people sent because I, I, on YouTube somebody uh, made the statement, well, can anybody help this lady? If everybody just sent a dollar, it would help. Well, I got a little bit of uh, things mailed to me, food, and um, you can send through the mail, and uh, a few clothes. So now they've, uh, they've got the word to get me out. And um, once I move, uh, you know, <laughs> a message you're getting mail or you're getting my insurance, uh, what will happen to it, what I have. Uh, so anyway, um, some things happened recently, and now then uh, I'm up tonight because I can't use the um, uh, air conditioning heating because it's so horrible. And uh, I could get into how that was done when I came to this room, was moved from the other one because it had bugs all on it, uh, lice, bed lice, and then I come up here, and I think I, some of them came with me, and finally I've gotten rid of those. I can't use the heat. It's cold. And I unplugged it because this has gone on before. You have to see what's inside it. All the places I've been and uh, have had air conditioning heating that's got uh, mold and mildew in it. And I've but these are up, and there are pictures of them in other places that people have. And I've taken them here. The pictures, of course, somebody got a hold of them and deleted them. They're, they're good. Don't ever let anybody get a hold of your phone. Uh, if you've got something on it, they'll delete it. People are really strange. <laughs> um, when you're down and out and nobody's helping you, they're hurting you. I, it, it's weird. It's like being in school and everybody... Um, if you call that harassing, in my case, it's killing me, really. Um, made me beg everything. So the agencies were all shut down. And people will say, uh, well, why don't you go to uh, the church to get food? Or Well, what, well now then, I used to walk and try. And um, they really have just shut me down. And I'm going to go ahead and tell this and get off because it's so bad. I'm up tonight, and I know uh, I even opened the door to the hallway. I thought maybe they were doing some cleaning at night, which would be odd. That's usually real quiet and closed down. It always is. Well, I opened that, and that wasn't where the fumes were coming from. So I had to. It's so bad, there's a sliding glass door. But it's hard to open, and uh, all of them are hard to open to get air in. Uh, if there's not cars backed in there put, pumping carbon monoxide in at you. But I got up, and it's uh, I had to. I can't sleep. It's so bad. And I've managed to hang in um, for all these months and over a year now here. And before I've left, I've been run. Um, I stayed at one of the other places here um, because they've sabotaged, sabotaged the hood. <laughs> Um, low income. So now then, I've always paid my rent on time. Uh, but at the HUD, the last time, they really got to me. That's been this past year. Unless you get into court, and then it's a whole different story. So this is about to go off, and I'm going to finish this because I haven't said much about it because this whole thing is made up about uh, mind control and you, anybody other than me telling it. There's plenty of people tell it. They just don't tell about the patterns because the patterns would lead back to me. Uh, you know, for whatever reason, all this may be who I am and who my father and mother are and the lie and the takedown of or the attempt to take down the British Empire. And um, that NATO, as uh, 